cyber attacks on government and businesses are increasing, but that threat is creating an opportunity, and Maryland is sitting right in the middle of it. Alex Dimitrik reports jobs in cybersecurity are available now, and a lot more are coming. The hardware may be kept behind locked doors, but cyber thieves are constantly probing for ways in. At the Pentagon alone, there are 360 million unauthorized probes every day. In the world of finance and business, thefts of data cost the U.S. economy $20 billion a year. It's sort of like high-tech detective work. So there's always a new way that people try and steal data, and you are always trying to learn that new way. Peter Coddington is looking for those detectives at UMBC's training centers where cybersecurity is the focus. The bad guys are innovators. They're out there coming up with better ways to attack us. I had no, how would I say, um, no former knowledge about the hacking culture. None. But learning how the enemy works is what the coursework is about. It substitutes VAR with a value of one runs through these commands until it hits done. Demand for cybersecurity workers is high now, but those doing the hiring say it is only the beginning. I'd say over the next 10 years explode. So that's a lot of people to train in a, in a short period of time. Especially for government facilities operating in Maryland, which are currently expanding a target-rich environment. When you are targeted, they just don't randomly come after you. See who's in and out, who's left the footprint, and find out who else is here. Alex Dimitrik, WJZ Eyewitness News. There are currently 1,000 cybersecurity specialists capable of working in sensitive federal jobs. The demand is for up to 30,000 more, and that does not include the private sector.